we have this problem where we are given a static method named find max and we need to return the maximum value and the maximum value is from an array of integers we have this method it's given to us right here however it's incomplete we need to complete this so that it returns the highest value which for this example is 44 so we have our method header here and then before we use this next line of code where we sort it our list is going to look like this we're going to do arrays.sort we pass in the array and this is a predefined array method and we are going to sort our array so now it will look like this after we've sorted our array we know that the highest indexed is going to hold the highest value so we need to get that index well we know length is from one two three four so we would say that we have four elements in this list however when we go by index we start at zero so we have zero one two three so index three is going to be length minus one and that's exactly what we're going to use length minus one to get this index so what we want to return is the element at the third index because that is the highest index with the highest element so in our return we are going to have our num array because that is the array name and then in here normally we would have like a number so like index we want to re return the first one we would have index zero but we want to return the last one so in here we're going to get the length of our array we're going to do num array dot length so this is going to give us a value of four and then we're going to do minus one so this is then going to give us the value of three which is this index so this is going to be our answer right here and we can see out of the possible answers that it matches this so that's the theory behind this array